Those would be my rear brake lines. I got snapped since the fittings were seized in the center brake line, which is like a T. There's a rubber hose that comes down and there's a T it goes off each direction. And those both were, one of them was seized and the other one broke trying to get it out. So I'll do a little update on it since I'm not really making a video about brake lines. I just want to get this done so I get back to work on the air system. This was, I had to get this rear uh, center brake line replaced since I can't get to it when uh, the leveling valves are in place. So we got our little tubing bender, uh, line wrenches, and that's my first line. Real easy to work with, a lot less uh, intimidating than I thought it would be. It's super easy just to bend it around and get the shape you want. Just go ahead to I just had to remember which side was the longest because it's longer on the driver's side. You see the line is a little offset. But anyway, new brake line. These are getting new brake lines. Got some more brake fluid. Um, the front brake line's already replaced. I will also replace those pads so everything's new and evenly worn. Oh boy, those are my springs grab. Um, so yeah, all new brake stuff. It's going to be great. It's just running into more problems. So I thought I'd let you guys know what's going on. Kind of a foggy day today. Cold. It's supposed to get sunny at some point get a little sunshine so yeah still a disaster zone in here uh, the tank is installed where probably I just need to put I just got a couple of things to attach on here these are my this is the uh, leveling valve assembly so that will be going on as soon as I'm done with the brakes just need to attach three lines, two for each bag and one for air pressure. The These are just going to sit on a shelf for a while until I can... I don't want to take a chance that any of these are leaking or that any of these are leaking. Um, I don't want to have to... Like I said before, I don't want to be using any of this 30 year old line anymore. So I'm, though I think it's fine. It feels fine. There's a few spots that are, have kinks in them that looks like they could crack at some point but just playing it on the safe side just going to pressurize the system keep it pressurized and it's just going to keep it level simple and it's going to suck not having a way to let out air from up here if i need to i do have valves on the back expansion tanks um, also filling the air if something goes wrong with the leveling valves but we got new valves so hopefully i don't that doesn't matter i also like the automatic which was like uh, an on and off basically for the line going out to the airbags you turn that off and the thing will stop trying to level itself which was again I can't really find a reason why I really need that so I'm just gonna keep this stuff out for now this will be good for a project later if I do decide to do that repressurize this and just have this as a manifold for accessories air horn or purge valves for the tanks there's two expansion tanks and a main compressor tank so I could hook up some timers to them project for the future so anyway, I'm about to dig into it. I got my tunes out. I'm gonna get those brake lines in and get back on the air tank. And then I think in the future I will show you guys installing brake lines on the front since I'm sure those could use some new stuff and I am enjoying this actually. I've never done this before. So running some hard line for the brakes. Um, new little projects I've done around here. I had, uh, finally installed my battery charger on the wall just so easy spot to throw the batteries get them charged or store the spare battery along with the flashlight charger the toilets carpet is finally out a bit more of a chore than I thought it would be since it's, I had to cut all the way around the toilet to separate the carpet you see there's still a chunk in there and then cut a slit so I could pull that out but that I already hosed it down with rubbing alcohol and water, some spray I have. Cleaned everywhere, feels good. Also tore.
or the bottom panel off the shower so I can keep an eye under there. Also something I didn't like, being able to see my plumbing and see if I got leaks easily. I had to grab the grab a tuft of the carpet fibers with a pair of pliers and rip the panel off. So things are good, things are moving along. I just keep running into problems. The old motorhome is breaking, a few lines are popping and brake lines breaking. Stay tuned. I'm getting this. I'm getting her done, boys. We're gonna hit the road soon and get caught up on boondocking. I am so itching to get moving. I hate sitting still now. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.